home. Anybody that gave her attention. This is, man, when you start playing this scenario out, the scenario ain't ever changed. It's still that same primitive story from Genesis, the third chapter. Still being played, and that's where you unruly women. Okay? Which, you let women are struggling to, uh, to fight against it, and hey, that's power to you. Real shit. It's appreciated, it's not going unnoticed. But for you, for the rest of y'all that's hell been on, on living a lifestyle of the sudden, uh, 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 I don't want to say promise, but he, 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 uh, he showed. showed to you that he, that he unveiled to you, you will have to make a decision in the near future was it worth it. Right. Well, look at the condition of earth. And look what's coming to earth before the prophecy. And, and you should be praying that the shit wasn't working. That was the thing that triggered off everything. Because of, because of what she did, we lost our immortality. Yep. We lost our status in the we earth. We fell away from our higher power's image yep. when she did that. Yep. You know? Like I told you in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, he created us to, uh, to be in the image of his eternal. No, this is go to it. Wisdom of Solomon 2. It's like around the last verse. <sighs> but we're supposed to be in the image of his uh, immortality. Yeah, eternity. Yeah. Eternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 2. Uh, I started at 22. It says, As for the mysteries of Yahweh, they knew them not, neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness, nor discern a reward for blameless soul. For the Most High created man to be immortal, and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, through the envy of the devil came death into the world. That's literally told about Jesus in the third chapter. Yep. Literally. The, the, the fruit of what happened to civilization on earth after Genesis 3rd chapter, because of Genesis 3rd chapter. And they that do hold up his side do find him. Yeah. What are we trying to do? We're trying to go back to the order that he established long before that. Yeah, life. Yeah. Which is life, man. He gave you a death style that you think is life. And imagine if somebody gave you a Lamborghini. Didn't tell you how to drive it, but you got a Lambo. I can figure this shit out. You figure it out, but at the end of all of this shit, not only do you wreck the car, you die. Would you want, if you knew if that was it, but you had it for a season, would you still want to drive that car? Well, the woman said yes. <laughs> Hell, you don't want that car. I'm gonna stunt because this woman has something. That, that, yellow, that yellow spirit. Yeah, now what she didn't realize was, in the midst of all that car, she could pay her family and her kids and everybody. Could in the car with you that goes down and burn because of, because of you. No, that, that's the earth in, its, in itself under this under, under what happened, under what the decision that you made. Your bright your bright idea to listen to the serpent me. Just the impression. Yep. Like, like the brother was saying, man, we in the process of uh, you know the sweet becoming bitter, man. They they these <laughs> women are are starting to taste the change or starting to sense this, the taste, the change in taste, excuse me. Yeah. You know, and, um, it's, not, like, it's not as sweet anymore. You know? it ain't, it ain't. All, all those bodies that you done ran up on, on, on your, your body count is leading to more and more depression, bugging the hell out. All that being made from all those men messing your brain up. All, all them you options that, that kept you from making a sound decision on one man, yes. that kept your options open. Now you didn't sampled all them options, and now you got no options. Yep. <laughs> Took away all your options by sampling all the options. Yep. And, and, your, and your oppressor that you rely on, he's he's gonna leave you dry. Yep. High and dry, man. He's gonna he, 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 he gonna, he gonna show you that you was never supposed to uh, trust your enemy. You have this bitch, uh, Megan Thee Stallion. She got rewarded at Planned Parenthood. She she literally yeah. got a reward. Right. At fucking Planned Parenthood. We know what Grand Parenthood is. Yeah. It was set up by the enemy, created by uh, a, a, a racist <laughs> uh, eugenicist, Margaret Sanger. I didn't even know they could give out rewards when they did that. Don't make it up. Just to give out make a point. What are they rewarding? Evil. 
an organization that the, a demonic organization like that giving a, a so-called black woman a reward. You uh, you doing a good fucking you you you're doing a fantastic job. Keep up the good work mm -hmm. and helping to destroy your your people. Promote continue to put, promote boredom so that the women can, can uh, have all these children and abort them because they're not responsible. I got a couple of quotes from uh, Margaret Sanger. It, uh, it said, uh, Margaret Sanger said this, right? It said, uh, we, we don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. It's right out of her mouth. And that's the letter to Dr. Clarence Gamble, December 10th, 1939. Mm -hmm. Ku Klux Klan. Uh, they said, uh, isn't that the great grandmother or the grandmother of uh, George Bush or one of them? Yeah, right? Yeah. They connected somehow. Yeah. Connected. Yeah. Said, uh, two said, the most merciful thing that the large family does to one of its infant members is to kill it. Yeah. They bring up the law of abortion, right? Said, uh, Exodus uh, 1. Right? And that's why they allowed you part of uh, uh, that feminism was to, to create that war culture, that war culture, so that you women can. You know, and, and, and that spirit even goes back to idolatry, the worship of the queen of uh, heaven, uh, uh, goddess of fertility, the worship of uh, what, what was her name? Uh, was it? Uh, it was. And uh, Foxy Brown did an album named after this guy. Yeah. All that, all that goes back to those uh, deities. Yep. So that horror culture is wrapped around paganism, witchcraft, child sacrifice, order. It's all interconnected. It's all uh, part of the same vibration. And a lot of these uh, female rappers today, that's the, that's the exact vibration that they're putting, pushing on the younger uh, 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 females that are being trained up. That's why they're allowing Sexy Red to come to your schools and train them. They'll allow her to have to throw a little event and girls of all ages can come. Knowing what her content is all about and what image she portrays. That's Eve collabing with the serpent. Right. Yep. That, that's a, that's, a, that's a, a modern day example. And, and I wanna, uh, and them, hey, you, the northern tribe, y'all got y'all's too. Yep. You got the Ice Spice, yep. you got a Cardi B. Yep. You know, they represent for the northern tribe. Yeah. So, but it's all the same agenda to, to, to attack the people on this side, man, the tribes. And this is part of that conspiracy in Psalms 83rd chapter. Yep. But the, uh, my body might try. Everyone had everyone plays their part. Yep. You know, the most high is you don't, all you about don't, balance. You don't get a wife with the intent of never bearing children with her. Right. We, we want to fulfill to, to punish her. That ain't what you do. That ain't what you do that for. You do it with the intent of this is how I'm about to grow my family or grow my business. Right. When anybody hires somebody that's just on payroll and, and, and don't bring nothing to bring them to the that you're happy. That isn't the need. That's a want. 
yep. the need is the big picture of our of our family business is running smooth so everybody is well taken care of and well nurtured, right. well guided, well instructed. And that's that's only going to come in the kingdom. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, yeah. right now we're 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 in captivity, man. We're, us as, as much as the woman, we're both catching hell. The woman, the woman seem to be catching it less than the man because of the society we live in and the, the, the deal she made with the serpent. Yeah. You know, but uh, the perfect family and the perfect home, it's not. You're not. We're not, we're not going to get that here. Yeah. All right. So we're we're just telling you. We're telling our woman. We're telling our people that the reason why we're so destroyed right now. It's because of that, that choice that was made with, with in us in the garden. That that decision is what led to all of this right now. All the confusion, all the division, okay? All de all the death, the pain, because of that one decision. That so led to millions of aborted fetuses. You 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 opening your legs to every quiver. <laughs> Every quiver, every arrow, every arrow yeah. you know what I'm saying? And not being responsible, not not uh, being chased, you know, not 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 being uh, 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 shame faced, you know, all these different qualities that a woman naturally is supposed to have. Those things are, are, are null and void in this society, man. You damn near look down upon if you if you, if you have those uh, characteristics yeah. now. You know, order is, is uh, frowned upon in society. Yeah. That's why us as a nation is in the position that we in. Like you mentioned, uh, uh, you were speaking of this one earlier, that's really the, the mentality of the majority of these women, if not all of these women, man. Oh, uh, they say what? Happy wife, happy life. Yep. It's supposed to be the opposite, man. You know, because, you know, looking at us as a nation with the Heavenly Father, as long as we made the Heavenly Father happy, he made us happy. He provided exactly. for us, he protected us, he made sure we was established. Same way in the household, if you as a woman do your duties in the household, you make your man happy, you take off that, that stress, you need that, that, um, that pillar rest. of rest, yeah. your man is going to provide for you naturally, man. A woman that, that makes her man happy, not just with sex, I'm talking about things that, you know, things that deal with the household. That man is going to naturally buy new drinks for and stuff. Stuff. That's by giving sound counsel and instruction. That's really how it, how it really plays out. Some of those other things come with it as well, but we're talking about the most valuable things. Sub submission. Yes. Cooperating. Yeah. Obedience. Obedient. Being obedient. Right. And if you've never been told to be submissive unto your husband by your mama or even your daddy, when your man tells you that, it's going to sound foreign, there's going to be some hiccups in it, but the obedience in it is for you to, to get on board with that and start implementing that. And you're going to see the benefits of, of, of doing that. But of how it's going to yield. Right? In today's society here in America, right. if a woman submits to her man, she's being oppressed. Yeah. Yep. Her friends, everybody, social media is telling her that she's she's being oppressed. The color purple. You know? Yep. You 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 don't have to submit to a man. Why should I have to submit to a man? You know? Because that's seen as a bad thing here. Yeah, why, why, why should she submit unto the man who has her in her best interest? <laughs> you know? But you submit unto your boss. And, and especially now, nowadays where we were talking about how the woman now is forced to go out and work. You know? A, a woman, if you, can't, if you can't keep her at home, give her everything and, and more, you know? She, she's not going to respect you. She, she's not gonna see you as the as as, as that, that you know as, as the prize because they're, they're here they're they're forced to go out and work you know they're forced to out, go out and make that money too and, and if you if you both are working now there's contention in the house man yeah. okay there, there's like a fact of, there's a power struggle yeah, I'm gonna say God forbid you make more money than you make yeah, there's most which in most cases a lot of women make more money than their husbands now. You know? So there's a power struggle now where you oh well I make more money. You know? But you can't give me everything I need. Why should I buy why should I 